To find out what personal fabrication is all about, I decided to become a fabricator myself. All I needed was a laptop and an idea. First, I read a tutorial on how to make 3D objects using a free program called Art of Illusion. Then, I applied what I learned to create my own design. I sent my model of a button to the Michigan RepRap Group to be printed on a RepRap machine. Early the next morning, Jeff, Matt, Mike and I hit the road. We were all anxious to see if my design would be successfully printed by the RepRap and what it would look like. It took us three hours, but we finally arrived in Ann Arbor, Michigan to attend a RepRap meeting at Nick McCoy's house. Downstairs, Nick had a fully functional RepRap machine ready to go. Uh, so this is going to uh, convert the STL file into uh, G-code, which is commands for the robot. The RepRap printed my design using ABS plastic, which was heated by the machine to make it malleable. Created from the bottom up, layer after layer, my button began to take shape. After 30 minutes and 18 layers of material, my button was complete. Okay, so I guess uh, the part is finished now. There we go. Thank you. With a RepRap machine and some design know-how, anyone can be a fabricator.